usual for Trump supporters to gather near Trump's Palm Beach home. Danny Travis is joining us near the bridge that leads to Mar-a-Lago with what locals had to say about yesterday's assassination attempt of the former president. This side of Southern Boulevard Bridge where we're at right now is usually where people gather when the former president makes headlines and an assassination attempt is just one more reason crowds got out here to show their support. <laughs> All walks of life could be seen at this small rally from people of all ages to all demographics and nationalities, all with the same goal to make their voices heard. Supporters we talked to have mixed reactions about what happened, but all say they're just glad Trump is walking away alive and well. I just thought it was crazy. I don't, you know, you don't want him to get assassinated. You know, I just want a fair race. And so I was like, wow, that's 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 tough. But he's good. He's okay. That's all that matters. The same moment that he got shot. The Secret Service jumped on top of him. He went up with the fist, fist on and said, five, five, five. Honestly, I wasn't surprised because everything that they have done to him with the cases, with the indictments, it's all political, you know, that's all, it's all political. So this, to, to be honest, it was expected. I said, you know what, we got to pray, we got to come out and rally people. So I got the group together and we held hands today and we pray for President Trump's protection. Um, we prayed for his family and we pray for the person that lost their life, that comfort their family and pray for our nation to heal. This does seem to be one of the smaller turnouts we've seen in recent events involving the former president, but certainly nothing short of love and support for him. Now, I did reach out to the Palm Beach Police Department to see if they would be ramping up patrols here in the area for extra safety precautions, but I have not heard back. Reporting near Mar-a-Lago, I'm Danny Travis, CBS 12 News.